Welcome! We're here in Kosher.com's Kosher Kids Canvas Kitchen where we don't cook food, we draw food! Maisha, if you could go anywhere in the whole world, where would you choose to go? I would love to go to Eretz Yisrael for my bar mitzvah in three years, but I have three more years to go, and my parents said only at 13. How about if we draw a kaisel and you can feel like you're right there? Oh, that's a great idea. Can we draw a man with a tallest davening? Sure, why not? What are you davening for? That all the soldiers and everyone should be safe in Eretz Yisrael. I love that. We can draw a soldier as well because we're so grateful to our Chayalim for keeping us safe. All you're gonna need is a paper, coloring supplies, and a dash of creativity. Ready to get started drawing? Of course. Okay, so it starts out a little intense, but you're gonna love the end result. We're first gonna start with drawing a man davening with a talus towards the kaisel. Gotcha. So we're gonna start off with like a little yarmulke towards this end of the page. Just that little frown shape, amazing. And now we're gonna bring it down a little bit, kind of like an A-line dress coming down on both sides. Not that you're excited about that. And coming out a little more and then bring it all the way down. Amazing. And now on the other side for the man's shoulders and then coming down like that. Okay, so because the talus has um, the black stripes, we're gonna make three stripes on this side. One, two, three thin stripes. And on this side, three black stripes. One, two, three. Color it in a little bit. We're coloring in now, even though we usually color in after, just because I don't want you to get confused like where the stripes are stopping and starting. And then because Atalus has so many folds and bunches, we're just gonna make some lines to make it look a little realistic. So we're gonna make like a line coming down here, a line coming there, a little V over here, another line there. Gives a little more shape. That is amazing. Okay, ready for the hard part? Our chayal? Okay, so we're gonna start with the chayal's red hat. So we're gonna start out with a little line over here. And now it's gonna come up a little slanted. So we're gonna make it rounded and coming up a little bit on the side. Amazing. Now it's gonna round itself down and coming back to this side, you're gonna make like a smile coming up. And then this line's gonna come straight over here. And that's gonna be like its red hat. Awesome. Okay, ready for the back of the Kyle's face? Okay. So we're gonna make a little line coming down over here and a little rounded on the other side. Awesome, now we're gonna make the Kyle's ear. So we're gonna make a little like, a little, a little, back, a little backward C, and a little C inside for the ear. Connect the hair a little bit. And now we're gonna make a little smiley, attaching the rest of its hair in the ear. Amazing! Okay, now we're gonna make a little line coming out for its neck on the side, and a big parentheses coming out here for his hand. Now, his other hand is gonna be up here, davening against the kaisel, so we're gonna have a line coming out from its hat, like a little slanted boomerang over here, and now coming down,
And now we're going to make the hand coming in over here a little bit. And it's neck like that. Okay, we're going to make a belt right over here. Now we're going to make a, a rifle so the soldier can protect the Jewish nation. Amazing. Now a strap to keep everything together. The pants of the soldier uniform has a lot of pockets, so like a rounded rectangle here. Make a line in the middle. Like buckle for a pocket. Back of his pants for left. A little B for the pants. Now, hands are always the hardest part because its hand is coming here. We're going to make a little one, two, three, four here. Its thumb is going to be in. And this hand's going to be coming up. This hand's going to be coming up from here. It's going to do one, two, three, four, five over here. That was really tough, but how do you feel, Maisha? Great. Okay. Ready for the Kaisel stones? Yeah. Okay. So because the stones are a little rounded, I'm going to make them a little rounded. You could do whatever they want. So I'm going to start from the bottom and round the edges. Beautiful. Like this rounded top. Now the next one, I'm going to come along over here. Coming down, making you believe it's coming over here. Now what's very famous about the Kaisel? What does it have stuck inside? Lots of grass. Lots and lots of grass coming out and moss. You could even put some notes inside the Kaisel. So I'm also going to add, as I go, I'm going to add some little bushes of grass or moss. Here I'm going to add a longer one coming down. And just keep going. And now, because I want it to look natural, I'm specifically not going to make it all even. Like the next one, I'm going to start and end it over here. Next one coming over here. Okay, a little more grass. We're just going to keep going. Some bigger, smaller. The top is going to be easy. I'm just going to make lines coming up. If you look at the real pictures of the Kaisel, the stones are all different shapes and sizes. So enjoy your creativity and create them however you'd like. Ready to color it in? Yeah. Okay. That's what I've been waiting for. Maisha, amazing! And very soon we should all be together in Eretz Yisrael with the coming of Mashiach. And we'd love to see your pictures. Don't forget to send it in to hello at kosher.com. Bye! Bye.